Okay, so sit yourself, or oh, sorry, it's just lay out your blanket on top of your mat, have a bolster for underneath your knees, and then lay out your blocks for your feet. This just helps you to stretch out your back a little, and then have um, a folded blanket for underneath your um, your head. If you're good, if you feel like you might be cold, then just have a blanket to cover yourself up with. If the room is bright, then perhaps cover your eyes. Maybe use an eye pillow. So, just release down and into the floor. Just adjust your position until you feel like you are in a position that you're going to be able to maintain. Just listen to your breath and allow yourself to just gently release down into the floor. Just spend a few moments just enjoying these first few moments of complete relaxation as you just sink into the ground. So if you've been on your feet all day or if you've been busy working, then this is a really good moment to just allow yourself to gently release. Soften your jaw and your throat and allow yourself to completely relax into the floor. Deep inhalations, fill in your lungs from the bottom to the top, 
and empty in your lungs from the top to the bottom. Draw your attention into the soles of your feet. So that the skin and the sole of the feet just begins to tingle with consciousness. Draw your consciousness into the soles of the feet and then consciously relax the skin and the muscle and the bone, the sole of the foot. Draw your attention into the top of the foot, so that the skin and the muscle and the bone becomes consciously aware in three dimensions. And then Completely relax the top of the foot. attention into your thighs and the kneecaps. Just allowing the fronts of the thighs to sink into the backs of the thighs. Allowing the shins to sink into the bed of the calf muscle. Just letting the legs completely relax.
Just allowing the legs and the feet to completely relax into the floor. And then draw your consciousness into the abdomen and the rib cage. Take a deep inhalation and with the exhalation allow the torso to completely relax into the floor. Draw your attention into your shoulders and your upper arms and your elbows and your forearms and the palms of the hands and the backs of the hands and the fingertips. And with an exhalation, allow your shoulders and your arms and your hands to just completely relax into the floor. Consciously soften the skin around the forehead, around the skull, drawing the skin down from the base of the skull towards the jaw, towards the neck. Just allow yourself to completely let go into the pose.
Just enjoy the lack of demand on your body and mind and just relax into the floor. enjoy the lack of demand on the physical body and the mind just using this time to replenish your energy
Okay, when you're ready to disturb yourself, just gently wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and then just bend your knees, bring your feet onto the bolster, have the feet apart, the knees together for a moment or two. Just press in your back into the floor. And then very gently roll over onto your right side. Just stay down for a breath or two. Uncover your eyes if you were covering them over. Push the bottom elbow into the floor. Push yourself up into seated position just across legs with. Just holding onto your knees for a moment. Just listening to the breath. listening and observing your energy okay we're just going to work with no equipment for a little while you might want still want a blanket in front of your head but typically you, you do this directly on the floor we're just going to do the half frog which is more of a yin style pose so you lay on your front you're going to create a little pillow for your head for your two hands so you just lay on your front and this is really nice to relieve a bad back and then you're going to leave your left leg where it is and then you just bend the right knee out to the side and then you rest your head so that your chin is resting on the same side as the bent knee so one leg is stays straight the other you rest out to the side so this is the half frog so like all of the restorative poses it doesn't really feel like you're doing very much but that is where the energy arises so just find your comfort and as you know as we stay in the pose as we progress into our practice I'll speak less and less so that you can just focus on on relaxing rather than listening so of course I'll just send some pointers your way whenever we're going to move otherwise just release into the floor So as ever, if you find that you're not comfortable, then adjust the pose until you are.
okay straighten out that bent knee just rest on your forehead on the back of your hands for a moment just resting into the floor and you can feel how that pose just opens up the front of the groin on the bent leg side and then just keep the other leg straight this time and bend out the other the other knee out in a straight line out in a right angle if you can and then just rest your head in the same direction as your knee
straighten out the leg to rest your forehead just on your forehead uh, rest your forehead on the back of your hands for a moment just rest into the floor just feel where the hip has opened up and then push your hands into the floor and then just sit yourself back onto your seat bones so we're just going to come into our supported child's pose so if you've got two bolsters then lay one on top of the other so you've got a good height if you've only got one bolster then use some blocks underneath the bolster like this just to kind of raise it up a little just to give you a little more height just give you a bit more space to have the bolster one on top of the other bolsters between the two knees and then you're just going to lift the chest along the bolster and then just rest your arms just let the elbows hang down to the floor if your elbows reach the floor have them wide enough apart so that you're not supporting your weight with your elbows so in supported child's pose again just make sure that you feel comfortable and rest your head on one side and then as you stay just alternate the position of your head so from one side to the other just to even out the tension on your neck so just in your own time just move your head from one side to the other Don't forget to swap the position of your head. Just scratch out your neck.
just enjoying the lack of demand on your body and mind. Okay, push your hands into the floor and then just sit back on your heels for a moment, just observing the energy you have released. That quiet, calm energy. In front line poses, just have the bolster. Um, on its own, just move it away from your knees a little. Have, if you've got an extra little folded blanket or a little bolster, have that from underneath your shins. And then you'll need a block for your head. We're just going to do our supported restorative um, surfboard. So you have a bolster, so a, bl a block and a blanket. And then you're just going to come onto your front so that your head is free of the top of the bolster. And then the blanket and the block just there for your to support your head and then let the let your arms just rest into the floor resting your forehead on the block and the blanket and then just focus on breathing into the back chest into the upper armpit region into the middle of the back with the next breath and then down into the bottom of the back with the following breath so just working to alternate the in breath first into the top of the chest back chest and then a normal out breath then into the middle of the back breathing out into the side ribs and then a normal out breath and down into the bottom of the back. And then just cycling around those three back breathing regions. Just letting your shoulders and your neck completely relax. If you find yourself becoming distracted, then just draw yourself back towards the breath.
So this deeply restful pose of the restorative surfboard just helps to calm down the mind, especially after a busy day. Okay, when you're ready, just bring your hands underneath your shoulders, push yourself up into a seated position, just sitting back on your heels for a moment, just observing the energy you have released through your practice, and then just sit yourself onto your bolster into a good cross leg position. Just bring your hands into Namaste. Draw your, close your eyes and draw your breath in through your nose and down into the abdomen. Be conscious of the energy that you have released through your practice. Good, positive, healthy flow of clean energy that the relaxation poses bring to the body and to the mind. And then draw your chin down to meet your chest. And just spend a moment to acknowledge the positive energy you've created inside. And then send some of that positive energy out into the world. the backs of your hands down toward your knees, palms facing upwards just connecting the tip of the index finger with the tip of the thumb, stretching the other fingers away from the palms just a gesture of wisdom and peacefulness that you can carry into your evening. And then as you raise your head Allow your eyes to softly open and the focus to softly come back. Thank you very much. So hopefully you feel as though you've really lifted your energy and you released your back a little and just restored your energy so that you can have a good evening calm and relaxed. So thank you very much for joining me.